Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, so today what I have planned is we are going to go through some Christmas holiday jewelry and, you know, hopefully I'll be able to sell some of that. And Louie is here today to watch this um, little event, holiday jewelry event, but he's not for sale. Um, I keep telling him nobody would buy him because he's so high maintenance. <laughs> He'd be returned within the first day. First day. Poor baby. All right. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is Opportunity Thrift, and my name is Lillian. And uh, what we do on this channel is we do unboxings, jewelry sales, we go to thrift stores, estate sales, vintage stores, antique stores, and sometimes just something altogether different if they think it's a good deal. So um, let's get started. And for those of you who've been here before, thank you so much for joining me again. Okay, so I've kind of already separated everything out, and we're going to start with the $1 items. So we have a little Holly brooch for a dollar. Um, it's plastic, but it's fun. Fun for the holidays. We have some Mary earrings for a dollar. They're reversible. We have this little wreath with some bells. Um, it's plastic, I think. It's a brooch. And so that is a dollar. We have another little piece of holly with some plastic bells for a dollar. That's a brooch also. We have a um, little brooch here that has some candles and some holly. So a little brooch. We have some Christmas light earrings for a dollar. And I know somewhere I've got more of these, but I just haven't found them yet. So those will be a dollar. We have a little angel pin for a dollar. We have a little brooch, another little angel brooch for a dollar. And then we have some single earrings that could be used for craft. So a little snowman for a dollar. Santa earring for a dollar, just a single. I don't have the mate. A little kitty cat with a, a Santa hat for a dollar. I never found the mate to this. I was really disappointed not to find that mate. Another Santa earring for a dollar. These could be converted to charms too. And a single candy cane earring for a dollar. So those are my $1 items. Now we're going to move to the $2 items. And the reason this Christmas tree is in the $2 pile is I am missing a rhinestone. I think that's the only one it is signed art it is signed art it's really a beautiful pin if you had a spare rhinestone you could glue in there you'd have a gorgeous pin for two dollars i have another christmas tree that is missing a few rhinestones and that one is also signed art, so $2 for that one. 
I have these snowmen and the only thing that's wrong here that I can tell is this one's face is missing you know missing little features like the other ones have so two dollars for this one I have a little Santa rhinestone pin for two dollars I have these Santa on a sled earrings for two dollars but this one is missing the um, attachment for the earring so I'm thinking maybe you could use it for craft or if you know how to repair that you've got little Santa earrings for two dollars I have a stretchy crystal bracelet for two dollars I have little, uh, where are they? Here we go. I have little reindeer. Uh, let's, let's do this right here. <laughs> here we go. I have little reindeer earrings for $2. I did test them for sterling. They are not sterling. And I have little Christmas tree, fuzzy Christmas tree uh, earrings for $2. Okay, we're going to move to the $3 pile. And let's bring everything over here. It's closer. Okay, so in the $3 pile, I have a little wood and I think it's abalone uh, cross. So that's $3. I do have some Christmas ornaments in this little jewelry haul. I just, uh, I couldn't resist. So I've got this gorgeous little sheep ornament for $3. And give you an idea on size each one of these squares is one by one inch so kind of gives you an idea so three dollars for the little sheet i have a blingy stretchy bracelet for three dollars i have another ornament for three dollars he is missing a little bead right here on his tummy but otherwise, he's okay, I, I think. I think he's okay. So $3 for him. He could be a pendant or an ornament, however you, you like. So $3 for this little Santa. He looks kind of vintage -y to me. I can't say for sure, but that's what I'm thinking. $3 for this stocking. I've got Santa on a skateboard. <laughs> I'm not sure. And it is labeled best. It could be a brooch or a pendant. $3 for him. I've got this wreath. $3 for the wreath. It is um, it is a brooch. I have little snowflake earrings for $3. This one has a tiny bit of, I think it's a little bit of wear. Okay, then I have, let me see, we've done the reindeer. Okay, then I have little wreath earrings for $3. And I have a sparkly snowflake 
pin for three dollars it's missing one rhinestone but otherwise very pretty and I have another snowflake rhinestone pendant it does have some wear in back and it's on a chain and um I tested the chain for sterling. It is not sterling, but it might be silver plated because it did leave a little bit of a, mm, a silverish kind of um, indication. So I'm still uh, leaving that in the $3 pile. Okay, we're moving on to the $4 pile. If you can't tell, there's a pattern to this. <laughs> We're just moving on up to the more expensive items. I do have some sterling items at the at the end. Okay. So I have another stretchy bracelet. Now the stretch is not perfect, uh, but I think it can make it through this season. And it's uh, Santa stretchy. I love the, the Santa charms. So $4 for that one. I've got a snowman for $4. I think he's in really good shape. I'm thinking, to me, he looks like he might be a vintage piece. Now, now that I look at it again, he may have lost a mitten. So I didn't notice that before. Um, but I don't think that's a, such a big deal, really. Um, you could take this mitten off <laughs> and just leave him with metal arms. So I'm still keeping him at $4. I have this brooch with some rhinestones. And now that I think about it, see, it's amazing what you notice when it's on camera and you don't notice before. So he is missing quite a few rhinestones. So instead of four, I am gonna price him lower. I did not notice that. So $2 for him. We'll put him in the $2 pile. Okay. I have a gold tone manger scene, a pin, $4. I have some crystal earrings for four dollars they are yeah they're like like that that's their that's their mechanism of opening and closing so four dollars for those i actually have a keychain an enamel candy cane keychain for four dollars I have this really pretty bow for $4. I have this uh, candle with some holly. And it is labeled Jerry, G-E-R-R-Y. I have This one's also Jerry, labeled Jerry, Christmas tree, $4. I have a wreath. I don't see anything missing on the wreath. I have another Jerry um, candle, $4. I have an angel for $4 with a little cabochon, a little clear cabochon there. No mark. I have a Noel brooch. All the rhinestones are there for $4. I have a kind of a Halloween-y reindeer, so I don't know. Um, he does not currently have anything in his eyes. And the, both of them are missing 
whatever was once there. And there is a little bit of loss of enameling right under his collar. So now that I look at him closer, I'm gonna move him down to the $3 pile. He's not perfect, but I think he's cute. Okay, so we have this faux pearl Christmas tree for $4. We have angel earrings, rhinestone angel earrings for $4. And we have another candle. And this one is not marked. $4. Okay, let's go to the $5 pile. So we have some earrings to start with, some enamel, enamel earrings. They are for pierced ears. I have a Christmas tree brooch and it can be a pendant. I did test this for sterling, it is not sterling. I have this, I think, vintage poinsettia brooch, $5. I have these brand new Santa earrings, here's to ears. I have these clip-on Christmas trees. Five dollars. I have this Christmas tree brooch for five dollars. I have this snowflake brooch for five dollars. I have this little candy cane with a mouse. And it is labeled new P New Pro. New Pro. So I'm not familiar with that brand. New Pro. All right, we have a very blingy Christmas stocking. And a couple of the rhinestones are missing. But I still think it's a beautiful, beautiful brooch. So I'm gonna keep him at $5. I have a Santa hat. All the rhinestones are there. $5. I have this Christmas ornament with some holly. And this one Hmm, trying to see. I think this one is also Jerry. Five dollar. And then I have these crystal snowflakes pendants. So I have one and I have two. This one is gold tone. This one is actually, let's see. Yeah, this one's gold tone, but it it is a little more of an antique gold. You can't really, and you can kind of tell the sizes. So those are $5 each. Okay, moving on to our $6 pile here. We have these vintage, well, they were $5 somewhere at some point 
in their lifetime. <laughs> Who knows how long ago. They look vintage to me. So this is my $6 pile. Enamel earrings. I have this brooch. I've got two angels and some holly and some poinsettia. No mark. Looks like everything is there. And then, like I said, each square is one by one inch. So you can kind of tell the size. I have earrings for pierced ears. Some poinsettias. I'll put them down on this little mat so you can tell the size. They're about a square inch. So they are also $6. Christmas tree. Maybe a little bit of loss of enamel in this one. No mark. And you can kind of tell the size. So $6 for that one. I have a reindeer. I have a gorgeous reindeer. Looks vintage to me. There is some loss of enameling. So I'm not crazy about that. But this is a really large. Let's move this up. A really large brooch. And I think it's pretty unique. I've, I haven't seen one like this before. So I'm going to keep him at $6. I have a Christmas tree with some rhinestones. And it is marked. And I think it's marked Ultra Craft. So Christmas tree brooch. I have a gift package. It is labeled Monet, and this one is $6. I have these blingy earrings that I think are gorgeous, and they've got some weight to them. They are very nicely made. So $6 for those. I have this adorable Christmas stocking with a little poodle kind of peeking his head out. And this one is labeled. I can't quite be sure, but I think this is also Jerry's. And then I have Christmas tree rhinestone Aurora Borealis earrings. I did test them for sterling. They are not sterling. They are not labeled. And then I have these earrings that are bells, little bells and pearls. These are pretty unique too. I, I haven't run across anything like this before. So $6 a piece for this pile. Okay, moving on to the $7 pile. I've got this angel with matching earrings. So the set is going to be $7. I have a Santa. And you can kind of tell us how big Santa is. I have another Santa. Oh, and Santa's a brooch. Santa's a brooch. I have another Santa in his sleigh. Gold tone. No markings. So $7 for that one. I have a Christmas tree with some crystal strung lights. And I really kind of like how 
you know, these have been placed. I don't know if this is handmade, but I'm, it might be. It's not marked. And I also am wondering if it's not pewter, but I, again, I can't be certain. $7 for that one. I have this Christmas tree pin with all these little hanging hanging things. I did check this for sterling. It is not. It does have kind of this vintagey appearance, so it might be an older piece. I have this enamel poinsettia. Oh, I didn't realize I was still all tangled here. Hmm. I am all tangled. Okay. Hmm. Because we got the <laughs> we got this here. All right. I don't want to break this. There we go. Okay. The chain looks brand new doesn't show anywhere. It's a gold tone chain. The drop is 12 inches. Let me check it here. Yeah, the drop is 12 inches. And then you have this pretty flawless enamel poinsettia. Give you an idea on size on the poinsettia so this is seven dollars for the chain and the poinsettia i have this gorgeous angel brooch for seven dollars marked kc really really pretty and i have this ornament christmas ornament hark the herald angels sing and it is pewter and Concordia in 1993. So definitely a vintage piece. So $7 for these items. Okay, moving on to the $8 items. So we have some more Christmas ornaments here. We have a manger scene. This looks like pewter to me. Let me move this over so you can see the size. Again, one inch squares. And this is labeled 2008. So that's um, $8. Then we have a Santa labeled best could be a brooch could be a pendant it needs a little bit of a wash so you can see Santa's size this is a big piece each square is a square inch so we have a Santa pin pendant eight dollars we have a gorgeous poinsettia rhinestone brooch not labeled eight dollars we have this poinsettia Be bells holly not labeled pendant could be a pendant yeah just a pendant not a brooch and it comes with a chain. Now, a chain is a charming Charlie, so I don't know if the chain came later because this doesn't really look like a charming Charlie piece to me. So I don't know if somebody just put that together. It has a 16 inch drop. And here you can kind of tell the size of the pendant. So for the set, eight dollars then we have this absolutely stunning stunning angel not labeled not marked 
Uh, it does say 2008. So oh, let's do this. For size, each square is a square inch. Eight dollars. Okay, we have another ornament. Santa reading his list to see who's been naughty and who's been nice. Uh, this is an Avon from 1996. So a vintage piece. Eight dollars for that one. We have a brooch. It's a Napier. So rhinestones are all there. Beautiful enameling on the bow and then some faux pearls in the bells. So $8 for this Napier. We have some snowmen singing some carols maybe, I'm not sure. Gorgeous, gorgeous ornament. Again, not certain, but I'm thinking this is pewter. That gives you an idea on the size. 2008, gorgeous pieces. These Christmas ornaments are just stunning. So $8. We have a little skating snowman who's <laughs> dressed up in the hat against the winter weather. He looks really happy. He's got a big smile on his face. And he is labeled Gorham. I did test for sterling, not sterling, but gorgeous piece for $8. Then I have really a snowflake but it put it in here with the holiday items too because it's really sparkly and it does remind me of those other pieces that are snowflakes the chain is in excellent condition the drop on the chain is 18 inches and then you can kind of tell the size of that item and it is labeled express so eight dollars for the combination okay now i'm going to move on to some of the um more expensive pieces so i have this stunning stunning cross it's all crystals. It's uh, not sterling, but I think that's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous cross. I think, you know, would be lovely for the holidays or any time, really. Uh, let me load this up so you can see the size. Again, each square is a square inch. And so if anybody wanted this cross, that would be $10. $10 for the cross. I have some more snowflakes, but these snowflakes are on sterling chains. Okay. So the drop on this snowflake is nine inches. And this snowflake has like a little, little attached star on it. So the combination of the sterling chain and the snowflake is going to be $15. Okay, then I have another much larger snowflake. I'll give you an idea on the size of the snowflake. 
And if you look, it has like a little snowflake engraved. And it is also on a sterling chain. And the drop on the chain is 12 inches. So if anybody wanted this snowflake on the sterling chain, that's going to be $20. And then my last piece is this piece with an engraved snowflake, crystal with an engraved snowflake. Uh, so you kind of get an idea on sizing. So there's this crystal with the engraved snowflake. And it is on a hefty, hefty sterling chain. And the chain has a drop of 12 inches. So if anybody wanted this combination, that's going to be $35. And that's all I have, guys. So this is my little thrifting Christmas holiday jewelry haul. And if anybody wants anything, wants to purchase a piece, email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com. Give me the date of the video, a timestamp for the item that you want, and a description of the item. Shipping is $5 for under a pound US. If it's international, then we have to calculate it based on size of the package, weight, and the distance that it's going. And uh, I take PayPal for payment and Square also. So. Um, just email me if you want to purchase anything. If you guys liked this little Christmas jewelry haul, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.